Hi everyone and welcome back to Cooking in Pink Foods and once again I'll be visiting my beautiful island of Guam and would love if you join me by indulging into the flavors of my home with my cut in pika. And with pika meaning spicy or hot, the first bite will have you right on the island, laying on our tropical beaches surrounded by nothing but the beauties of the land. So come on, on another first class flight, on a coach fair price with me, Charlene. For my cut in pika or spicy chicken, you'll need three pounds of chicken wings, but feel free to use the parts you prefer. You also need olive oil, soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, oyster sauce, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder, unsalted butter, an onion, garlic, green onion, and red hot chili peppers. Okay, let's start by slicing or dicing one small onion, whichever way you prefer to have it. Chop up six cloves of garlic, two bundles of green onions, and as for the red hot chili peppers, use as many as you like, but I wouldn't recommend using more than four peppers for three pounds of chicken unless you like it really spicy. Therefore, I chopped five, but that's me. Now, in a large bowl, I'm adding a half a cup of soy sauce, a fourth a cup of white distilled vinegar mixed with a fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar, and now adding in a fourth a cup of good old H2O, just enough to balance it all out, keeping it from turning out too salty or acidic. Now, adding a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, just give that a good stir. Cut and pika is a local favorite on Guam, and there are so many different ways to make it. Some use coconut milk rather than oyster sauce. Some even use tomato ketchup, and the list goes on. But seriously, I've not tried one I did not like. Now, adding in our chicken and getting it all drenched in the marinade and letting it sit in the fridge for at least two hours. Cut and pika is usually cooked in a stewing or a soup pot, but I love my cast iron and to it, I'm adding a drizzle of olive oil and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Now the butter will not only add additional flavor, but will also give our sauce a more velvety texture. Now adding in my sliced onions and I'm only gonna saute it for a minute or so just to get it slightly caramelized. Don't worry, it'll have a long enough time to cook along with our chicken. And once the onions are slightly softened, you want to form a large well in the middle to lay out your chicken to get an even brown on both sides. We're not looking for a charred crust, just a golden brown color by cooking for about two to three minutes on each side. And of course, I had to once again prove myself human by forgetting to add the garlic shortly after sauteing my onions. But it's okay, like a good human, I'm gonna make it work. See? <laughs> okay. Now let's move on. After cooking my chicken on each side for three minutes, I'm adding in all that marinade right into the pot. And I'm gonna put the lid on, stirring occasionally until the sauce reaches a rapid boil. And as soon as that happens, I'm going to add my chopped red peppers. And immediately after that, three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Mix that in really well, then cover, set heat to medium high, and allow the chicken to cook completely, stirring occasionally, and reduce heat if you feel the need to. Now, once your chicken is fully cooked, reaching an internal temperature of 165 degrees, now you can add those green onions, saving some for garnish, of course. Then cover, set heat to low for about five minutes to allow the sauce to thicken and that green onions to infuse. And there we have it. Welcome to Guam with my version of cut and pika. Doesn't it look absolutely delicious? Well, that's because it is. And I really hope you all enjoy this recipe. We on the island enjoy it most of our steamed rice. And I'm sure you will too. Well, thank you all so much for joining me on my trip to my beautiful island of Guam from right here in my kitchen where every day I'm cooking in two boots with her. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.